Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening, everybody. Temperatures are a little warm today, but not so bad. Right about where it's supposed to be for this time of year. But we've got a surge of heat coming in from the south. What's in northern Nevada and Utah will be coming over us for tomorrow for one day. And uh, yeah, 100 degrees is certainly possible, especially Boise South and eastward, where the heat is really going to be blasting in from. But then cool weather comes back on in. We're going to start now, and I'm going to show you what's happening here right now. I need to pull up the uh, current temperatures. And uh, really, across the entire region, you see that 100 degree for Saturday. It's kind of a sneak preview of what's coming in in my extended forecast. But right now, we've got the beautiful blue skies, 86 degrees. Wind is on the light side at 8 miles per hour. Enjoy your evening. No gusty wind coming in tonight. Should be quite pleasant uh, once that sun goes down. And it's pleasant in the mountains, mid-70s with crystal clear skies. Gorgeous. 84 to the airport, Twin Falls. And uh, blue skies uh, from our live canyon cam in Twin Falls. Old Faithful at 65 degrees. Boy, that's pretty pleasant. Here are your high temperatures so far across the region. And that purple you see, uh, not far around the mountain home, these are temperatures in the 90s in general, although the Air Force Base is at 87. That's where some of the hottest weather is. So high temperatures and just down to the south here, we've got temperatures that are hotter. And this is going to come surging in tomorrow in this direction. And that will bring our temperatures uh, significantly higher. Now, there's a threshold I look at in my computer forecast models to find out if we're going to hit 100 degrees. And I think we're just shy of it. So it may be a 99 in Boise, but what Boise has going for it, if you're looking for 100 degrees, is that we will have no cloud cover. A lot of times cloud cover will inhibit the heating late in the day. We're not going to see that tomorrow, and so we may be right around 100, 99 or 100 officially in Boise. So your running forecast, better get out early. It's going to get hot quick, and it will be not good for running during the afternoon. So again, clear skies across the northwest. It is beautiful as far as clouds go, but this is the heat coming in for tomorrow. This cooler weather, a cold front, another one comes through. Exact same timing of the past two, where midnight air is rushing into Canyon County, actually between 11 and midnight and then into the Boise area just after. So Pat Lake, here it is. Temperatures today getting into the mid 70s. Tomorrow, mid 80s. Enjoy it. Cools down and partly cloudy on sun. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Redfish Lake tomorrow, lots of sunshine. And uh, look at this. This is today up getting up to the mid 70s. Here we are, 77 degrees tomorrow at 86 and then cooling down on sunny. So everybody will see the same story. If you can get to Riggins around that closed road, Tomorrow will be nice at 94 degrees, sunshine becoming partly cloudy on Sunday, but no rain is really likely. And then the uh, cool of things down just a little bit to 80, 77 on Monday. Bruno Dunes, and there's your hot location. It starts Friday at, at night, Saturday at 95. I think that's a misprint. I'm going to update that and tell you that it's likely, likely to be over 100 degrees at the Bruno Dunes on Saturday. Here's my Idaho News 6 forecast for the Treasure Valley. 100 degrees, 99 will be fluctuating right around the century mark tomorrow. 101 is likely in the Mountain Home area. I think the hottest temperatures will be in the Hagerman Valley upwards to Mountain Home Glens Ferry. 95 in Garden Valley for hot weather. Only 86 in McCall, but that's still hot for McCall. 97 in Riggins, as you see it right in there. The forecast for the East Central Mountains, Stanley, Sun Valley, mid-80s are likely. And here's that extended forecast for the Treasure Valley again in its entirety. 100 Saturday, but a more comfortable 88 on Sunday. Down to 84 on Monday in the extended forecast, keeping it comfy for a little while. Next week, it's not going to be that hot, Don. So this uh, I can handle 100 degrees, and it's one day only. Yes, run through your sprinklers on Saturday. You got it. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Scott.